Good evening, happy Friday evening to you. Let's talk about the next weather maker that is starting to head our way. We know it has been hot out there. We had the heat advisory that's still in place right now uh, for parts of our area, but it is starting to cool down. That is the good news. But here's that next weather maker I'm talking about. So by one o'clock in the morning here, you're gonna start to see it. It's gonna slowly start to come in, not really changing our weather pattern yet at all, but it will start creeping in here over the weekend and those temperatures will start cooling down, even on the coast. I know if you're on the coast, a lot of you don't have air conditioning. It's been very warm out there uh, for this time in October. We saw the fires today earlier. The relative humidity was very, very low. That is coming up a little bit now as we're moving through the uh, late night hours. But uh, earlier, that was definitely a concern out there as firefighters were working to get some of those fires under control. But you see that next weather maker now, 11 o'clock on Saturday evening, still starting to move for, towards us. There's this trough here and a lot of rain in this. I don't know how much of this rain is gonna get down to us, but Northern California really gonna see some pretty decent showers come Monday at seven o'clock in the morning. So here is that trough, like I had mentioned, knocking on the door, San Francisco, Salinas, our area here, and we'll see how much rain develops out of this. Still kind of too early to tell, but still worth uh, keeping an eye on. So yeah, we were talking about that heat alert and we are still in that uh, uh, advisory for the uh, areas shaded here. You can see where we're talking about that advisory and uh, that will expire here uh, any moment, but we'll keep an eye on it for you. Uh, you know, hey, it was hot out there today. Bottom line is things are changing and uh, they will be changing rapidly. I think it's still gonna be warm tomorrow because that heat uh, advisory will last until 11 o'clock tomorrow. So here's your future cast. We'll walk you through it this weekend. Just looking at some light clouds, but take a look as we run this thing out. By Monday, look at the cloud cover that comes through our area. And then yes, we could see that spray shower, or stray shower that comes through in our area. Depending on where you're at, you might get just a little bit of rain as that trough moves into our north. So we'll keep an eye on that for you and uh, see how it develops over the weekend. Here's your forecast where you live. We'll walk you through it now. We're just looking at the uh, upper 80s, those mid 90s still though, as you go up into the mountains, it's still gonna be toasty out there. Look at Boulder Creek hitting the century mark. And even on the coast, Santa Cruz today, you were at 98, 99 at one point when I looked at it, it was hot out there on the coast in Santa Cruz. Let's go inland now to the Salinas Valley area and still those low 90s. Morgan Hill gonna top out at the Century Mark Gilroy as well uh, tomorrow. So still very hot out there and that's why we have that heat advisory that is still in place. So the peninsula and yeah, still gonna be very, very warm out there. Not as warm as today was tomorrow though, I don't think. Uh, PG will be pushing 80, Monterey pushing 80 as well. Carmel by the sea should get to 80 degrees again tomorrow. And yeah, you know, when you don't have that air conditioning, it gets hot. So here are your hot spots too as well. Bradley gonna push 102, maybe 103 even. King City, you're pushing the century mark as well. And in Big Sur there, uh, you're gonna be in the lower 80s. So still toasty out there, but those changes are on the way. Here's your seven day forecast. The weekend is here. Congratulations, you have made it. Saturday warm, but cooling off quickly on Sunday. And then Monday, we'll keep an eye for a stray shower Monday in, into Tuesday as that trough gets closer to us. The inland areas looking the same. It could be re very warm again tomorrow, but it cools off rapidly Sunday going into Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll be watching again for a stray shower. Back to you.